Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video today. It's been a heck lot of time since I last uploaded. It was the Neymar artwork and that one just really blew up. I went from like 200 subs to like 460 subs in like 3 weeks. So thank you guys all so gosh damn much. But today to make it up to you guys, I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys. I will give away a really big part of my textures and my brushes map to one of you guys. So you can guys can make some awesome artworks as well. If you want to compete in this contest, be sure to hit that like button button be sure to subscribe to this channel and be sure to comment down below what you will use those assets for and second of all be sure to follow me on instagram be sure to like my last picture and be sure to comment on that picture as well what you like about that visual if you do all that you will have the chance to win a very very nice assets pack if i may say myself if i had this at the start when i started making videos uh, it would help me so goddamn much so be sure to compete in it so today we're going to make a very very nice yoko yota artwork these are all the assets that I'm going to use for this artwork. You will find them in the description down below and let's get right into it. So first of all, if you guys want to know which dimensions I use for making my artworks, these are the dimensions. It's like 1080 pixels wide and 1350 pixels of height. So as always, we're just going to start off with loading our pictures of the Ogoyota. So right now we're going to erase some of the big Yoyota. So right now we're going to make an awesome background. I inspired this from my Cristiano Ronaldo artwork. Be sure to click in the description down below if you want to watch all my football related content. So right now we're going to transform it and place a little bit of perspective on it. And right now let's just duplicate it and flip it horizontal. Right now let's make this into a smart object and let's duplicate it with command J or control J. So right now let's convert that all into a smart object and right now let's work and right now we're going to draw a nice canvas. Alright, so right now we're just going to select and right now we're just going to select this and we're going to fill it with white on a new layer. And I have to admit this gives some kind of trippy effect but I kind of like it. And right now we're going to place a very nice effect. We're just going to select the distort filter and we're going to choose this place. So right now you just have to use one of your older projects. I'm just going to select this one. I don't know if it will work, but we will see. And it gives this kind of effect. I'm going to try another one. So Photoshop is just trial and error and you will just see what comes out best. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So right now it looks like the little Diogo Yota is like floating and we don't want that. And we know what we have to use for that. We're just going to use the exposure layer. We're going to bump down the exposure to almost near black. Let's right now turn this around and make a very nice shadow with the brush tool. And let's right now give him some nice undergrounds that he can stand on even. And I'm going to use this texture because I know that a lot of you guys like this texture. And if you guys compete in the giveaway, you get a chance to win this awesome brush map. So right now we're going to make a very very nice effect. We're just going to make a gradient map and select the color of this shirt. So right now we're going to make a little bit of adjustments on the on the boat of the Ogoyata.
So right now the color of like his shirt and his shirt doesn't really match or so we're just going to make a nice UN saturation font, a nice UN saturation layer and we're just going to bump down the saturation so it matches a little bit better. So you don't really see it right now but it does a lot. So right now I want like a little bit of a, bit of a glow coming from behind him and we're just going to select him with the command button or the control button and click in on his layer and right now let's fill it with white of course be sure to fill it with white fill and white all right so right now we're just going to distort so blur gaussian blur and let's select like i think this will work and let's put it behind yeah that that really works okay we're just going to adjust Okay, we're just going to adjust the Gaussian blur. I think something of around 8 pixels is better. Yeah, that's a lot better. I don't want it at the bottom, so we're just going to erase that using the brush tool and just painting it away with black. So right now I do want some kind of exploding effect in the back and the way to do that is just to select a nice power brush and let's really go loose with it. So right now I want a little bit of a shadow coming from behind him so you have to make sure you make a new layer above the gradient map and be sure to select the layer of the rectangle and right now let's turn it around with command or control I and let's right now just go around the edge. And right now it's time for textures! And first of all I'm going to apply this to the whole of the background because I think that already gives a lot of depth and a lot of texture and that's what we kind of want. And right now I also want some ripped edges because I just kind of love it. So right now we're just going to group all of it and let's convert it into a smart object and right now I'm going to explain to you guys how I use the camera raw filter in depth. So of course you know that you just have to go around every slide but I like it a little bit darker. It looks better when you add a little bit of contrast. Yeah, it looks better if you keep down the highlight. I like a little bit of shadow. I like it. Yeah, it looks a lot better if you bump up the if you bump up the whites. A little bit less dark. Let's bump up the texture right now and the clarity. Let's bump down the vibrance. Now let's turn on a little bit of the saturation, just a little bit. Let's right now adjust the curve, something that looks nice. Let's add a little bit of sharpening. And right now for the color mixer, it's very important that you select the HSL one. Because if you use a color one, it's a little bit harder to do everything the way I do it. So let's just see what this does. So the split toning, I usually just bump up the saturation a hell lot so you actually see what's going on and let's right now see which looks nice. I kind of like this blue effect or this like yellow effect to give it a really warm look. I like this one. I like this one a lot. So let's just do it to something presentable. If you want to see the before and after, just click on this icon so you see what actually is going on. For the shadows, I usually go like something a little bit dark. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this one a lot. Alright, let's right now add a little bit of vignettes so you, you, you get a little bit of white or you can get a little bit of black around the edges. Yeah, I like this one. So let's right now add a little bit of grain because it helps with the all round composition and a little bit of vignette right here as well. And so right now you see the before and after with the camera raw filter so it gives a lot of depth and it gives a lot of feeling into the image and that's the way that I make my visuals. And that's the video for today guys, I hope you guys really liked it, be sure to do compete in the giveaway if you want to win some awesome textures and some awesome brushes and I will announce the winner in about two weeks during a live stream that I will do with you guys.
If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and be sure to comment down below what you like about it and be sure to subscribe for more of this content. And I will see you guys later.